How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and I'm on the top of the world! Oh, yeah, I'm on the Spear Pillar, just about to save the day and try to stop Team Galactic. But will it be enough? I don't know. Let me take a look at my Pokemon really quick here. They're all at level 43. I don't have either Slippers or Extremely with me, and it was a lot of... Oh, there's a lot of thought put into these Pokemon here, and hopefully they'll do the trick. Um, okay, but now the really tough fight is up ahead. It's against Mars and Jupiter, and it's a double battle, but I can't even use both of my Pokemon. So, because I have to team up with Louder. Spoilers! Spoilers! Um, hmm. So, that being said, I know they both lead with a Bronzor, and I don't like that one bit. Those things can use extra sensory, which isn't cool. I think actually in thinking about it, polarity was my best bet. Yeah, I think polarity will do good. Should be effective about everything. The only thing I have to be careful of is Jupiter if she brings out her, um, what is it, her skun tank. Because that thing might have flamethrower. I actually don't know. Um, Alright, yeah, so are you set? Item-wise, you got a metal coat. I'm not sure how I feel about that. You know what? I think maybe you'd be better off with the magnet. Hit for some more damage. I do have the magnet, right? Pretty sure I picked that thing up. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so <laughs> we'll give Polarity a magnet. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to take it back from him, though. Oh, I just don't know. Actually, I really I don't know if I consider Polarity a him. I know with uh, Taquito from my Emerald series, I considered, I mean, even though it's genderless, I considered Taquito to be more masculine or more male, I guess. And I, I think actually kind of the opposite for polarity. I kind of would envision polarity to be more, I don't know, female-minded or something. I don't know. It's, it's just one of those things I've had to think of. Anyway, speaking of female-minded, whoa, look at all these femme fatales up here ready to fight. Oh, man. And then there's this guy. Cyrus. Oh, snap! This is going to be intense. Alright, well, I just got to be careful. Just got to be careful. Where do you think you're going? I won't let you disturb our boss. If you're not going to listen, you'll have to go through me first. After all, you made me look bad more times than I can care to remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Hold on one second! Don't you start the party without me! The party doesn't start until I get here. Huh? Remember me? I'm here to get my revenge! Ha! If it isn't that little boy, the little crybaby from Lake Acuity. Did you toughen up a bit? Sure, let's battle two on two. Alright, let's! Snap! Okay, well, the epic fight on top of the spear pillar. Oh my goodness. Alright, so they got these annoying bronzors. <gasps> Level 44, ugh. Okay, so... Oh, I should have slapped Reflect on. Darn it. Oh, well. That's okay. Now, this Munchlax is normally helpful. Or actually, it's not that helpful. You're better off getting rid of it. Uh, I don't remember which is which. Let's see. Mars. I really want to fight Mars first. I'm just going to have to hope this is Mars' Bronzor. And the reason for this is... If you can take them out one on one, or take it out so there's only one of them left. Oh my goodness, they set up the double screens. Wow, that's so rude. That is so rude. Alright, I really don't care about Munchlax here. So let's just go ahead and discharge. Just to do some damage to that other Bronzor. Take out the one. Oh yeah, critical hit. Right when I didn't need it. Oh, why did I have to paralyze that? Darn it. <laughs> oh, Confuse Ray, please hit Munchlax. Thank you! Oh, I really kind of want to paralyze that Bronzor. Otherwise it's going to confuse all the things. Oh no! Darn it, I knocked out the wrong one. All right, well, I got to get out of here right now. Um, let's see. Regrettably, I don't have a clear-cut solution for Skuntank here. I mean, I could switch for Egg Pie, but that I don't think it's going to do that much. 
Actually, I guess Fire Butt would be a good switch. As long as Bronzor isn't going to be using that darn... Oh, I could. It's just that flamethrower I'm really nervous about. Not that it's going to hit for that much. I don't know. Alright, let's switch for Fire Butt here. Just to see if it's going to do it. It might not even want to. Oh yeah, it was going for it. It was totally going for it. We meet again, Skuntank. Oh, darn it. Okay, that isn't good. Oh, I'm trying to think of what that Skuntank could have. Okay, um... I guess I could flamethrower it back. Or I could flamethrower the bronze or Yeah, you know what? Uh, but then I'm going to have to deal with those two things. Skuntank and Perugly out at the same time. And I really don't want that. Although I guess in thinking about it, I'm going to have to deal with Golbat. Yeah, let's go for that Bronzor. Alright, Fire Butt, do the right thing. Yeah, that's the spirit. That's the spirit, buddy. Ugh, and I have to deal with that big kitty, though. Well, I guess I can deal with it. Poison Jab. Yeah, that's right. Take out that Munchlax. Oh. Hit yourself, please, Munchlax. <laughs> I know, I feel so cruel wishing for a Pokemon to, like, just die like that. Oh, no! Now Mars is using Golbat. Well, that's not right. Okay, well, it certainly can't have that happen. Um, well, looks like we're going to have to use Starwing here. Hopefully that Intimidate will help. Ugh. I just hope they go for Munchlax. Oh, nice. Starwing avoided it. Well, not good news for Munchlax. However, the good news is I will get a new replacement Pokemon in, so that's nice. All right, come on, Starwing. Hang in there. Oh, <laughs> hey, what's up? Okay, let's see. So that's kind of reassuring, I guess. I really don't want to leave Starwing out for any longer, though. That's the problem. Um, Aqueduct could use Ice Beam, Egg Pie. Actually, Egg Pie doesn't really have that much of an option here. Most importantly, I beat the Darn Clock. I took out the Light Screen and the Reflect. And that was just... Oh, that was going to cause me so many problems. All right, air cutter. Ugh. Flamethrower. Oh, man. I was almost thinking of switching out for uh, polarity, just thinking, oh, there's no way this thing's going to use flamethrower. <laughs> oh, man, I'm glad I uh, didn't do that. Okay, so surf. This is a tough one. I do like that star after being out, but... Oh, I just... I think I'd be able to take out Golbat. Oh, man. That's tough. Yeah, let's go for it. Thankfully, the rival... Uh, Louder here. He has so many Pokemon in his team. Uh, I guess I didn't need to use Surf. Whoops. Oh, well. It's not that big of a deal, really. There we go. Ugh. Kind of stinks to see <laughs> Pokemon just die like that right before your very eyes. Oh, no. Perugly. Gross. All right. Rapidash. Are you going to help me right now or not? Hmm. All right. I got to get out of here alive. Actually, I could switch for Fire Butt now. Yeah, that seems like a good switch. Slash. Ugh, I don't like that at all. 
Okay, do some big damage to that Skun Tank. Oh, darn it. It has a berry? What? Evil citrus berry. Mmm. Alright, this is very precarious here. Uh... That was some good damage to that Skun Tank. Man, if they both team up on Firebutt, though, I got a problem. Shoot, I just, I don't think I can do it. Ninjurisu doesn't really have the defense to survive Skun Tank right now. Oh, this is such a tough fight. Prugly's probably going to be faster. Oh, man. I have to take a gamble here. I think Skuntank is going to want to hit Rapidash. I think Perugly is going to go for Firebutt. And I'm just going to hope Firebutt can outspeed Perugly. Although I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Or no, actually, I don't know that. I switched in for Firebutt. So what I'm thinking is, if I close combat, that'll do enough to knock out Perugly. Mach Punch won't. And I just have to hope that Skuntank doesn't attack Firebutt. Well, here it goes. Aerial Ace? Oh, no! What? No! Oh, Fire Butt! Oh, my goodness, Fire Butt! You're such a trooper! Oh, my goodness! I thought you were sunk! Oh, but you might get skunk instead! Jeez! Skunk Tank, don't hit Fire Butt, please! So nerve wracking! Oh, Rapidash! Fire Blast that thing. <gasps> oh, man. Fire Butt, you have earned, like, total bro mode. Oh, wait. Does that thing have... That thing does have that one ability. I know it. Oh. It has that... That thing where if I hit it, it's gonna... Self-destruct, essentially. Otherwise, I'd go for the Mach Punch. Or wait. I'm thinking back here. No, I don't think it does. Oh, man. Firebutt has been in this exact same situation before. And he lived just barely, and he used Mach Punch. And that Skun Tank didn't have it back then. Oh my goodness. I oh, oh, I just don't know. It can't change abilities on me right now. If it does, Firebutt's gone, but it's just telling me I have to do this. All right, Firebutt. Mock punch it. Oops, let's hit this one. <sighs> Come on. Don't have in or whatever it is, the the thing. Yes. Oh my goodness. Firebutt, you are just I don't know how you keep doing that. Okay, now we gotta get you out of here before this Golbat causes any more trouble. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I think Polarity is more than a safe bet here. Wow, that was tense! Oh man. Okay. Well, on the bright side, this Golbat shouldn't do anything. Like anything. <laughs> Might take out Rapidash, but I really couldn't care less. Um, in fact, I'm going to be a jerk, just because I really don't like Louder. <laughs> oh, I'm such a jerk. What? Fire Blasting Polarity! <laughs> Why would you do that? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, that'd be actually really... Actually, that would be funny. I'm not going to lie. That'd be hilarious, just knowing what I'm planning for it. Aww. Okay, well, wow, double crit, what? See, I wasn't trying anything funny louder. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man, sheesh, I should have done the fighting myself. Well, come at me. Huh, you toughen up, but you're no match for our boss. 
Whew. Heh. <laughs> My Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. But you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. Quiet, I'll help you with this. I'll help you with this. I thought you said, I'll help you out with this, but whatever. Yeah. Hey, Quiet, this is it. It's your show now. Well, actually, I think it's Cyrus's show. He's just been, like, not even watching the fight. Everything is ready for the creation of a new world. Now. All will end, and everything will begin. With this, the red chain made from the crystals of the three lake Pokemon. I will possess more bling than everyone in the universe combined. And this, the red chain I replicated with technological means. With these red chains, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Oh, look at those chains, bro. Them chains. He'd be wearing them chains. Oh, snap. Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and the master of time. And the other, that other one, Palkia, the mythical Pokemon and the master of space and dimensions. Whoa. Two Pokemon? What? Cheater? Uh oh. Hey, sup, guys. You ready to fight? I've waited so long for this moment, Dialga and Palkia, shaping this world as a double spiral of time and space. Yes. The very things you have the ability to control. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. The incomplete and ugly world we have now can disappear. I am resetting everything to zero. Nothing can remain. It is all for making the ultimate world a world of complete perfection. Nothing so vague and incomplete as spirit can remain. Hey, sup? I want to go save the day. I'm Yuxi. Woo! Hey, yo, what's going on? I heard there's a party. I'm Mesprit. Yo, guys. I'm here. I'm Azelf. How's it going? I heard Louder was throwing a party. <laughs> I should have expected as much. Yuxi, the being of knowledge. Azelf, the being of willpower. And Mesprit, the being of emotion. The Pokemon have come to protect Sinnoh. Pathetic and worthless. It takes the three of them, the three lake Pokemon that symbolize spirit, to balance either the Pokemon of time or space. But they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both Dialga and Palkia are here. Their coming here is in vain. So much meaningless drama. Like the comments section of YouTube. Now, quiet. You've constantly interfered with my plans. But you will be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all time when I am done. All spirit will disappear. It will be ripped away. From you. From your Pokemon. From those precious to you. It is time. My dream will be my reality. What's this pressure I feel? Something is enraged. Uh-oh. Now you gone and done it. Ah, you spilled all over the place. Whoa. I guess that wasn't your coffee. Ooh, them eyes. That wind. Them claws. Interesting. So there is a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Yeah, it's dripping all over the place. Better get this thing a towel. Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the powers of Dialga and Palkia. Oh, what do you think? That makes it special? Oh, snap. Uh-oh. I, Cyrus, won't have any more interference. <laughs> oh, maybe he will. Dude, I think he just ate Cyrus. I wonder what's for dinner. 
Oh, hey, Cynthia. Hi. How are you? No. Darn stalker. Oh, Yuxi, why'd you go in there? Yo, where's the party going? Well, I guess that's where the party's at. Can you stop looking at me, Mesprit? Hey, it's a stop. Oh, hi. Yo, I'm Mesprit. Party's in here. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry it took so long. I think I finally found the answer from studying the myths. When this world was made, Dialga and Palkia appeared. Apparently, there was one more Pokemon that appeared at the same time. A Pokemon with as much power as Dialga and Palkia, but also one whose name was never to be spoken. Giratina! What? <laughs> it was never to be spoken, yet you speak it in my presence. It set a lurk in another world, a world on the opposite side of ours. That's where the shadow was. It must have been Giratina! The pillars are distorting. Whoa, those pillars are all bent, yo. It's because of that portal. It's joined us to the other world. If it's not closed, the distortion will spread to Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? We have to chase Cyrus. No, I'm not ready. You need to get ready. I'll wait here. Bye. See ya. Hey, dudes, what's up? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. So, you know what? I think that's actually pretty good. That was an intense fight. There was a lot of scene stuff. So, I think... I know my previous plan was to do the whole distortion world thing here. But it, it, it'll take a while. So, I think we're just going to leave it off here. And we're going to travel into the distortion world on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Platinum Save the World Nuzlocke. See you next time, Giratina!